How's it going everybody? And thanks for coming to Rough and Ready Bacon. My name is Vince, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do a black forest cake. Now this is the first time that I've ever done a full length video on a recipe. And this recipe was actually suggested to me by one of my followers on TikTok. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. So do me a favor, pull up a chair, get your notepad ready, we'll pull out the book, and we're gonna see how it's done today. Now the first thing that we're going to go over are the ingredients of the cake itself. Now I'm going to have them listed above here, but to go over a quick snapshot, with your basic flour, sugar, buttermilk, vegetable oil, all the good stuff. The only unique ingredients to the cake itself is going to be a cup of hot coffee. And you're going to want to pre-make that before anything else. And just as an FYI, if you don't have any buttermilk on hand, you can make buttermilk yourself at home. By every one cup of milk that you pour, put in a tablespoon of vinegar and lemon juice. And that'll give you that same buttermilk taste. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add all your dry ingredients into the bowl. So that's your sifted sugar, that's your baking powder, your baking soda, your flour, and your sugar. And once everything is in this bowl here, you're going to throw a paddle attachment on your mixer and mix it up until it's well mixed. So this next bit may seem very, very simple, but you have to be very, very careful. You're going to mix all your wet ingredients up now. So that's your eggs, vanilla, buttermilk, vegetable oil, and coffee. Now, we're going to put the coffee in last because we have to pour it in very, very slowly so we do not cook our eggs by mistake. Because nobody wants to bite into a cake and taste scrambled eggs. I can tell you from experience, it is not, not very fun. Now, here's our coffee, and we're just gonna pour that in very, very soon. Uh, it doesn't matter what brand of coffee you have, it doesn't matter if you want Starbucks, Black Rifle, all the coffee is the same here. It's just gonna give us a little bit of extra moisture and gonna give us that little kick when the cake is all done. After the coffee's put in and mix everything together, it's go time to put the wet mixture in with the dry mixture. Now for this part, you don't have to be extremely careful. You just gotta make sure that nothing spills over the edge. And you're gonna mix these two together for about two to three minutes. Too high and it kicks all the powder out over the side. Too slow and you're not gonna get a good mix. Now by the end of this, your batter is gonna be running. But don't worry about it, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. If you feel like you have too much stuff on the sides, feel free to stop the process and go ahead and scrape down the sides. See, that's all nice and running and there's not too much on the sides there it's coming up really nice now that you have your batter all mixed up you're going to pour it between two eight inch prepared pans now these pans have a line of parchment in the bottom but they're also greased up and they have a little bit of chocolate powder sprinkled into them just to help it not stick when it comes out now once you get that all poured in you're going to bake it in an oven that's 350 degrees fahrenheit for 45 minutes or until you can stick a toothpick in, pull it out, and it's clean. All right, we're gonna do this one at a time, nice and smooth. I'm gonna do my best not to fit in that way. Some people will use scales to make sure they're getting even better. I like to eyeball it uh, for no particular reason other than I uh, overcome. That is 
pretty even. So, like I said, gonna go ahead and toss these in the oven for 45 minutes. And we'll see how it looks. that cool and by the time it does it'll be nice thick and it'll be exactly what we need for this cake so the next thing we're going to work on is the chocolate bark that's going to decorate the outside of the cake now this step super simple in theory i'll say so all you need to do is melt down some chocolate get an offset brush paint it on some parchment paper or acetate paper like i have here roll it up stick it in the freezer until you're ready to go like i said simple in theory. We're going to try it out here and we're going to see how it does. Now that I've got my melted chocolate in here, all I'm going to do is basically paint on this acetate paper whatever design or series. as you can, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be super pretty, it just has to be effective. And something else you want to keep in mind, you don't want these too thin, and you roll them, because if you do, they're going to be too brittle and they're going to break apart forever. Now granted, the end goal is to break them up. I don't want them so brittle that you can't work with them, you know it's in your fingertips when you're trying to do it. So I'm going to sit here and paint away like I'm back in grade school. But I'm not going to go too high up because I want to leave a little room at the edges just so I can roll everything without getting chocolate. Now that those are all rolled up, I'm going to stick them in the freezer and wait till they are completely frozen. The name of the game is patience. I know personally I'm bad with it, so if I can sit through it, you can sit through it. Now the last step in this cake is getting the whipped cream frosting done. And all that is, is a quarter cup of powdered sugar that's been sifted 
and three cups of heavy whipping cream. Now we're gonna whip this up just until stiff peaks form. The best way to do this is to have a cold bowl and a cold whisk or a cold attachment. So while you're doing everything else, just throw your mixing bowl and attachment in the refrigerator and just wait till you're done. And there you have it, stiff peak whipped cream. Now the fun part, let's put this thing together. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a black forest palm, cherry chocolate and whipped cream. Now I'm working on my decorating skills, but I don't think that turned out half bad. What do y'all think? Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you copy. I hope you took notes. Let me know what you think. Appreciate it. I'll see you next time.